Hey guys, welcome to Fight or Flight Academy's quarantine workouts. We're all stuck at home with nothing to do, so might as well get some movement on. Remember, rule number eight, don't die. For today's workout, we're gonna be working on the roll. Ugh, working on the roll. For starters, let's do just a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna start at the top, kind of work our way down, hitting all the primary joints that we're gonna be using. So let's start with our necks, just roll it around. And other direction. Oh, headset's already falling off. It's a good sign. <laughs> Moving down, shoulder circles, nice big circles. And other way. Hands together, a little bit of wrist roll. Other direction. And back twist. We're gonna do a little bit extra work with our hips today because uh, hips are kind of important in rolls. So let's go to a nice big lunge forward. Uh, bring it down. You can touch your knee to the floor if you need to, that's fine. But why don't you think about pushing your hips forward, try to feel a little bit of a stretch back here in the quads. And then relax, pull it back, forward again. Uh, pull it back, forward again. Uh, let's switch to the other side. Nice big lunge. Push your hips forward. Feel that stretch down here in the quad just a little bit. Pull it back. Forward. And back. And forward. All right. Now let's get into some actual kind of rolling movements. So have a seat. Uh, you're probably going to want to find somewhere relatively soft to do this. So, you know, take some blankets, fold them up, or, or a nice poofy carpet, or maybe even a mattress or something. Uh, for all this rolling stuff, you're probably going to want to have something relatively soft to roll on. For starters, just as kind of a rolling warm up, grab your shins like a little bit of a tuck and just roll back and forward. I'm going to do this a few times. You can go up as high as you're comfortable with, but just kind of getting into the rolling motion. Try to go all the way to your feet now if you can. On the back side, get a little extension up to your feet. Extension, uh, extension, up to feet. Extension, up to feet. One more time. Extension, and up to feet. Cool. Uh, now let's get into some actual rolls. Now when we're doing our rolls, you always have to remember the three rules of rolls. Rule number one, your head should never hit the ground, no matter what. Uh, protecting your head from the floor is extremely important. When you're doing rolls, your head's gonna get close, don't let it touch. Rule number two, you should be using both hands, pushing against the ground at all times and supporting your weight. That's what's gonna protect your head. Rule number three, we're going to try to keep our feet together throughout all of these. That one's slightly less important, but it's just kind of something to think about. So we're going to start with a forward roll. For our forward roll, just start with your feet together, come down to a nice crouch down, get your hands out in front of you. You want to have your hands in front of your shoulders. If your hands are all the way back here, you're not going to be able to support yourself when you do the roll. So reach out in front of yourself, tuck your chin super tight into your chest, Pushing with your hands and tucking your chin is what's going to protect your head from the floor. Now, once you're in that position, you're going to lift up, thinking about bringing your hips over the top and rolling forwards. If you haven't done this a lot, the more you do these, the more dizzy you're going to get. So take it slow. We're not really in any hurry, but we're going to get five of these forward rolls for right now. Hands in front, tuck the chin, lift up and roll forwards trying to stand up at the end without using your hands. Again, those hands in front, lift your hips up, push with your arms, really try to support yourself. That's three, two more basic forward rolls, hands out, push, tuck that chin over the top for one more time. Try to keep your feet together. 
hands out and push, lift over the top. So that's our basic forward roll. Let's move on into a shoulder roll. For the shoulder roll, starting in a very similar position here, nice and squatted down with your feet together. You're gonna put your hands out in front of you, but you're gonna keep them really close together here. Boom. Then you're gonna put your head way off to one side. That way your head's not gonna touch the ground. Remember the whole point of a shoulder roll is to protect your head from the floor when we jump off of something and rolling out. So get those hands out, put your head to the side. This will lead with a shoulder. That shoulder is gonna come down towards the ground first, keeping your feet together still, lifting up and over the top. Try to not strike your knee to the ground as you're standing up. That one, I rolled onto my right shoulder. Now I'm gonna do the same thing onto my left shoulder. So again, reaching the hands out, putting my head to the other side. This time, this shoulder's leading forwards and rolling that way. Notice how at the end of these rolls, you're coming up facing to the side. That's a good thing. You should be doing that. Let's get a few more on each side. So hands in front, head off to one side, lift those hips up, roll over the top. Now let's go to the other side, head over there, up and over. You'll probably find that one side feels a lot better than the other. That's normal. You should still practice both. So let's do two more on each side. So putting my head to the left here. And now putting my head to the right. I say two more, one more time on each side. Don't worry about these rolls being perfect. They can just kind of be what they are right now. If you're doing on somewhere soft, that's perfectly fine. If you really want to know if you're doing them right, find a really hard surface to do these on. Uh, but probably don't do that too much. So one more time on each side. Head over. Rolling. And to the other side. Awesome. Now let's talk about a completely sideways roll. For this guy, we're going to start on our hands and knees about like so. Now the goal is just to roll completely sideways, but if I just tip over and do that, I'm either going to hit my shoulder on the floor relatively hard or I'm going to bend my arms. Because you're probably going to bend your arms because you don't want to just slam into the floor, we're going to cheat this a little bit by putting your hands just slightly in front of your legs. That way when you bend and you come down, we're actually facing completely sideways and we can come back up to our hands and knees here. So the goal is to roll totally sideways. So cheat the hands just a little bit, tip over, rolling sideways. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth with these. So cheating the hands over here again, tipping over, rolling sideways, and coming back up. This is a useful drill for side flips in particular. So if you want to, as you're going through the roll, you can try to tuck, thinking about as though you were doing a side flip. And the other way, down over, back up. Let's do two more each way. Cheat the hands, bring it down, roll, try to tuck. And the other way. One more time each way. Think of it like a side flip. Take off and flip and land. And the other way. Awesome. So that's the sideways roll. Now let's move on to some backward roll practice. For the backward roll, I'm going to start just sitting. The biggest thing to keep in mind for this is rule number one. Don't hit your head on the floor. Backward rolls are really, really difficult to not hit your head on the ground. For starters, if you haven't done a lot of backward rolls before, I want you to think about taking both knees and putting them over a single shoulder. If you bring your knees over opposite shoulders, that's how your head hits the ground. So for now, I'm going to go both knees over my left shoulder to roll over that shoulder. My head doesn't hit the ground. Now I'm going to take both knees and go over my right shoulder. Again, making sure that your head does not hit the ground. Let's do that just like this one more time on each side. Over the left shoulder first. And then over the right shoulder. Cool. So now that hopefully you're not hitting your head on the ground, we're going to start thinking about what our hands are doing on this. When you go into the backward shoulder roll, Try to put your hands up by your shoulder and onto the ground as much as you can. And when we're doing that, I want you to start thinking about pushing as well, trying to get a nice extension through the roll. Should hopefully look something like this. And then we'll try that on the other side.
Couple more times each side. Really thinking about getting those hands up and pushing as hard as you can. Really focus on not hitting your head on the ground too. Pushing with the hands is less important than not hitting your head. One more time each way. And on the other side. Cool. If you're getting that push pretty decently, the next thing that you can do is go to a straight over the top backward roll. And again, the goal is to not hit your head. That's why the hand push was so important. So you can give this a try if you'd like. This can be a little bit more dangerous, especially if you're on a harder surface, because there is a good chance that your head might hit the ground. But hopefully it'll look something like this. And we'll do that a couple of times. Let's do two more. Last one. There you have it. Nice little rolling workout. Hopefully you enjoy. Have fun.